kingdom Monera. Now, this is one of the five kingdoms that we have under classification of living things. Before we get into the video, I would advise you to watch the video on the introduction to the classification of living things. That video will help you understand a lot of terms that you will see here in this video. So, in this video, we're going to talk about the simple characteristics and phylums of kingdom Monera. They are unicellular, although some of them form fi filaments. The cells are prokaryotic. The cells have no organized nucleus with nuclear membrane. They do not have complex chromosomes, or you can say they have simple chromosomes. They have no cell organelles. That means no mitochondria, no endoplastic reticulum, no chloroplast. The cell wall does not contain cellulose, but polysaccharides and amino acids. They reproduce asexually. They may be either autotrophic or heterotrophic in their mode of nutrition. Now, this kingdom is divided into two phyla, namely schizophyta and cyanophyta. The characteristics are almost the same as the general characteristics, but there are a few keywords that will help you differentiate between schizophyta and cyanophyta. Now, the general, the general characteristics of schizophyta are almost the same as kingdom monera since they, they are simple living organisms that belong to kingdom monera. They are prokaryotic cells with no definite nucleus. They are microscopic no, and non-green plants. They reproduce by asexual means, that is binary fission, and they are unicellular organisms. They lack mitochondria. They have a rigid cell wall which is complex. They lack cellulose but consist of polysaccharides and amino acids. An example is bacteria. Now, what's you, the key words you need to know about this? Um, phylum schizophyta is you need to know that they are non-green that means they are heterotrophs you need to know their means of reproduction that is binary fission cyanophyta they are microscopic in nature they do not have cilia flagella or other locomotive organelles but some of them move by gliding they reproduce by cell division some are unicellular, others are filamentous, while very few form colonies. Their cell contains chlorophyll, but not in chloroplast. Their cell walls do not contain cellulose. Organisms in this group is the blue-green algae. So as I said before, the difference is you learn their, their, their means of reproduction by Cyanophyta reproduce by cell division. They have chlorophyll. That means they are autotrophs. So that is all you need to know about Kingdom Monera. If there is anything in this video which you don't understand, always feel free to ask. This is just a simplified video that will help you grasp the important facts about Kingdom Monera.